Hello, guys. Hello. Hi. Hi, Sally. Nice to meet you. So, Luca, thank you for joining us. Nina, hello. What did you expect? Hi. Yeah. This is okay. my favorite subject. I love you so much. I'm so happy to hear you. So, oh. George, happy St. George's Day, George. Thank you. Yes, like, congratulations hello. especially to you. Hello, Anastasia. So, Anastasia, can you tell me what are you having? Like, uh, is it a dragon's? No, it's a unicorn. Yeah. Unicorn. I thought that there, there was just one and not two or three or more. <laughs> Mary Michelazza, thank you for joining us for today. Um, okay, are we going to have some art students today? How are you feeling? Mm, um, do you already have any different activities today? Like mm. chess or yeah. art or something? Come on. Yes. Something? We had art. No homework. We had art. You had art. Okay. Did you have to draw anything today on the yeah. art? Not draw, but make. No, we made something yeah. from paper. Oh, you yeah. made something from papers. Did you like happen to have something that I have on my background, for example, a cross mm -hmm. or a flower? No. Okay. So no. what was that? What did you make, Anastasia? We um, made two things: a caterpillar on a leaf and a hedgehog. Oh, okay. That's a different kind of activity. Well, I think that I'm supposed to have more students today, but whatever. Yes. So I, I need to I need to start doing this right now. Uh, so you see the background. Do you know how it is called, Luca? Luca, after the lesson, I mean after the presentation, we are going to do quiz. So listen to me. Okay, and uh, well, time by time, I'm going to tell you the answers to the quiz. You watch the videos, you watch the presentation about the St. George's Day, and after that, we, we can do the quiz, okay? Uh, so, okay. there is the background, and first of all, I want to start with the flag. So, do you see the flag? What do you yes. know about the flag? Yeah. Did, did yes. you know that? Did you know that uh, this flag is not the flag of England? It is the no. flag of no, United, it's United Kingdom. States. United no. Kingdom. Kingdom. And yeah. here is the combination of three crosses. Well, believe it or not, but the flag has a name. This is called Union Flag or Union Jack. It has the name. So, as the United Kingdom and the combination of the Scotland, e England, uh, Wales, and the Northern Ireland, mm -hmm. that here the three crosses are the combinations of three saints. Saint George, Sminda Georgi, as the patron saint, and Tabari, Uzena Sitzmindani. So, Saint Andrew, Sminda Andrew, and Saint Patrick. So, as the Christians and the Orthodox, Orthodox, you probably everyone has the icon of the Saint George. Okay, maybe most of you have the icons of the Saint I have, George. I have, but I have bigger. Yes, you probably have bigger. This is a silver one I bought a few years ago. Uh, so Saint George and the horse and the sword and the shield and killing the dragon. You probably have the icon. So icon is not just Hati, but it is also like the hat eva, okay? So my icon is kind of the person that is very ideal for me, ideal for me. So now let's switch to the crosses, okay? Switch to the crosses. Here are the three crosses of the three saints. Of course, my flag, it is over the door. It's not done correctly, but he, here is the right. Okay, here is the right. This is, you know, the city, the old vinyl city, you know, oh. my friend did it. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's my favorite, but it doesn't work, unfortunately, now. So, uh, this is the right structure of the flag of England, St. George's flag, uh, I mean cross, St. Patrick's is the red one, and St. Andrew's is this diagonal, the little red one and the white one. So the background is blue, as you see. So, yes, you know that there, there is similarity between uh, the flag of Georgia and the flag of England. White background and the color red. So the flag of England has one big cross, red cross, very thick. Yeah. But in Georgian, we have like five crosses. 
Now, I'm going to share the video to you and to, to show you about the history, about the history of the flag. I hope it works because previous lesson didn't work like the sound didn't work. So I believe so we, we can have it. Uh, help me if you hear it. Very short. Take a look. Internet connection lost. Mm -hmm. Trouble. Kingdom of England. Scotland. why Saint George is so much important as the patron saint for Georgians and for England and some British countries and also all over the world Orthodox churches. So Saint George's Day is celebrated in Georgia with the Christians twice, May 6th, and this is uh, November 23rd. But you know, Cartwell of Maragos with it, Vashabo, or Yahalit, Elio Gops, the Oris, the Swanoa has just joined us. Okay, so it is two weeks difference. For example, May 6th is the April 23rd. Hello, Noah. April 23rd is also the celebration of the St. George's Day. Ahali Kalendritaris, Boshobuximaisi. Idea Shesari, 23rd of April. 23rd of April is a very important day because it is also the birthday and the death day of the greatest British playwright, William Shakespeare. Have you heard anything about him? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And also, November 23rd is also the celebration of the St. George's Day. So, we here in Georgia, we celebrate it twice. Because May 6th, St. George was killed by the Roman Emperor. And May, uh, November 23rd, he was tortured on the wheel. So, he was tortured. So, Shall I do what? Do you see me? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, yes. Did you know so um, AD and BC? It's very little tablet it's with that. It's all tablet it's with. St. George was born on the third century. That was year 275. He was born in the territory of Turkey. Now it is called Cappadocia. Abadokia. Okay, so uh, he was born and uh, like he became a Roman soldier. He was a very good person, like very brave with a sword and he had a horse. He was riding this horse and suddenly he heard that there was a beautiful princess that was captured by a horrible dragon. So as, as a hero, he decided to kill the dragon and save the princess, beautiful princess and the whole village because it took its food and the jewels and treasure and absolutely everything and people were suffering so let me show you a little story a video about saint george's day um saint george's dragon mm -hmm. how is it possible mm -hmm. to not this one oops here here. I hope you can hear that because last time it was frozen, unfortunately. I think I know this one. Probably you studied it last year. There should be a good connection. What is wrong with it? Connection never. Have you got the icons of St. George at home? What? Have you got the icons of the Saint George at home? Yes, I have two. No, three. Yeah, three. Okay. Uh, but did you know that the Saint George's uh, um, first painting was 
painted by the Italian painter. And uh, he was one of the greatest person, you know, because uh, he was the first to uh, somehow manage to paint St. George. And that was the 15th and the 16th century. That's why he is so much amazing person. St. George's Day. Uh, let's take a look on this video. I hope it will turn on still connection problem. Why do I have such a horrible connection today? Because last time, the previous lessons, it did not hinder me so much. You tell me if you can hear the sound. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Okay. Thank you. St. George's Day is celebrated on the 23rd of April and is England's National Day. St. George is popularly identified with England and English ideals of honour, bravery and gallantry and his emblem, a red cross on a white background, is the flag of England and part of the British flag. St. George's emblem was adopted by Richard the Lionheart and brought to England in the 12th century. But actually he wasn't English at all and very little is known about the man who became St. George. St. George is believed to have been born in Cappadocia, now Eastern Turkey, in the year AD 270. He was a Christian and at the age of 17 he joined the Roman army and soon became famous for his bravery. When the Emperor Diocletian started persecuting Christians, St. George pleaded with the Emperor to spare their lives. However, the Emperor Diocletian wouldn't listen and St. George was executed near Lydda in Palestine on the 23rd of April, 303. In 1222, the Council of Oxford declared April the 23rd to be St. George's Day and he replaced St. Edmund the Martyr as England's patron saint in the 14th century. In 1415, April the 23rd was made a national feast day St. George is not only the patron saint of England, but also of Aragon and Catalonia in Spain, Ethiopia, Georgia, Greece, Lithuania, Palestine, Portugal and Russia, as well as some cities. One of the best known stories about St. George is his fight with a dragon. But it's unlikely that he ever fought a dragon or even visited England. Despite this, St. George is known throughout the world as a dragon-slaying patron saint. The legend was first told in the 12th century, long after his death. There are many versions of the legend of St. George slaying the dragon, but most agree on the following facts. A town was terrorized by a dragon. A young princess was offered to the dragon, and George slayed the dragon and rescued the princess. How will you be celebrating St. George's Day? So, how do we Georgians celebrate St. George's Day? So, we usually, as I know, we, we pray, we go to the churches and we lit the candles. But do you know how people in Great Britain and in London celebrate St. George's Day? The flag. <laughs> So, this is the flag color, so they have the national dancing. The color that looks like Georgian very much. Yep. So, there is a very beautiful performance. Performance and the dancing, but it's not all. They have a beer where they buy and sell things. For example,
celebration, I, I don't want to bother you with more information about this. So, as you see, uh, St. George's Day is celebrated differently all over the world. I don't see you, like, uh, can you just turn on the cameras? It's invisible to, to see. Okay, thank you for being back. So, it is celebrated differently. So, next time, from the BGS students, I want you to know more and more about St. George's Day. And I want you to remember how important it is for the Georgians and for the UK, for English students and English people. Because when you go there probably someday in London and you see in England how they celebrate St. George's Day, I want you to be very familiar and to know, okay, about the tradition and about St. George. Um, George is a very good name for a man, for a person, and the name is popular all over the world with de different like ethnic groups and religious and the countries and the nations. Uh, have you ever thought about like why Sakartvelo is translated? Because usually we don't translate the names of the countries, right? We don't make the transla translation of the names of the countries, but Sakartvelo is translated as George, Georgia. Probably the name comes from Saint George and this legend and this tradition. Because in Georgia there are 363 or 65 churches and the places named after Saint George. I'm sharing you a little text I want you to read. Uh, I want you to read about uh, uh, little text that I wasn't able to, oh, excuse me, uh, there, there is chat, do you want to say? Okay, uh, so after reading, we're doing a little quiz, uh, can you just help me reading? Reading the text. Miriam, Mikaladze, can you help me reading the text? Okay, the God of Zelabine Pome. Miriam, start please. Once upon a time. Once upon a time, there was a great knight called George. George had lots of adventures as he traveled by horse across many lands. One day, he came to a small village and met a man who lived in a cave next to the village. Yes, yes thank you, Miriam. Noah, can you go on, please? The hermit had his gandagili. The hermit told Noah, go on, please. Wait, what? Um, one day he came to a small village and met a man who lived in a cave next to the village. The hermit told the knight about knight about the uh, awful uh, things. Awful things that were happening there. A terrible dragon had came to the to la to leave the lake uh, and attacked the village every day. Attack the village every day. Ninia, can you go on reading, please? The villagers. Uh, yeah, every day. The villagers didn't know what to do for the first. At first, they gave the dragon all their food, but the dragon just took the food and still attacked the village. Thank you, George Tantarashvili. Go on reading, please. So then the villagers gave the dragon all the animals from their farm. Uh -huh. The dragon took all the animals, but uh, continued to attack the villagers. Thank you so much, Luca. Can you read the next line, please? Yeah. Uh, with nothing left to give, the, uh, the king could only think of one no. thing. No, no. help protect his people. He sent his only daughter, the princess, uh, to the lake to wait for the dragon. When George heard this, he rode as fast as he could to the lake. Just then, the dragon jumped, jumped out, out from the lake and was, lake going, and was to going to eat the princess. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, uh, can Sally read, please? Sally? George attacked the dragon. He fought very bravely, won the fight, and killed the dragon. George and the princess returned to the village, and everyone was very pleased that they would have no more problems with the dragon. Today, what, today the story of George's bravery is remembered, and George is known as the patron saint of patron. many countries. As the patron saint of many countries. Yes, of course. Okay, so 
from the vocabulary, can you tell me just to match the pictures with um, with the words? Oh. Like, like the first one is night. It is written with K and N, but you know that K is silent, so we don't say like it night. We don't. It, it doesn't sound like. It is it's pronounced. A it, it's a silent letter. Yes, the first letter is silent, and we say night. It is not good night. Okay, It is Raindi. Okay, a kind of a soldier who fights and protects someone. Okay, the first one was given he, uh, here. Okay, can you like pick the word from here, just to match yeah. this man? Who is he? King. 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 Yes, of course. What is this? Lake. 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 You knew the words. Those are animals. 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 Food. Animals. Food. Food. Cave. 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 This one is village. 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 How about those? Army. 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 Army really fits this word. This is. Horse. 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 You want to do the yeah. quiz? I think I ha I have time. I have time. I no, we have plenty of time. Yes, we have time. time. So I want to show you the pictures of the St. George's Day. Uh, this is a little presentation. St. George's Day is the feast day of St. George. It is celebrated by various Christian churches and by the several nation kingdoms countries. And cities of which Saint George is the patron saint. But you have a patron that is an Roger Ataron, Yang Uzenai, Sim Tabarit Mindani. So remember the day, April 23rd AD, Ahalitz El Tagrit with Sama Sami, 303. Traditional costume, custom is to wear red rose. Another custom is uh, the Saint George's cross flag. English food and drink, it's very popular. Here it is a celebration, the Orthodox countries where it is celebrated. You see the parade, you see the parade of the dragon, this is the streets of London. The celebration, music, the flags, the soldiers, the knights riding a horse and killing the dragon, this is how they celebrate. So there are lots of people, lots of people involved, like the whole country is involved in the celebration on St. George's Day. And there are also organizations who help St. George's Day to organize charitable activities. So these oh. are organized, uh, and you also do and help. You also do and help, as I know. Okay, and your favorite part now, we can do your favorite part now, it is about the quiz, I'm sharing the screen yeah. to you. So as I told you, and as I mentioned, April 23rd is the St. George Day. So this is the quiz with the 10 questions. You just tell me which is the right answer. Number one, okay, Luca, can you read number one and decide which is the right answer? Um, yes. Which one? Oh, number uh, one. George, George is patron saint of which one of one of these countries? Okay, here are three England. countries: it's done. Scotland, England, Wales, or England. Ireland? Ireland, England. Of course, it was given already. In so yeah, it England. was given. England. Okay, do you agree? Shall I mark England? Okay. Yes. 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 Maria Michelazze. Question number two. Maria. What present day country in the area where San Juan was born? Turkey, Cyprus, Egypt, or Jordan? Do you know the answer where the St. George comes from? I know, I know. No? Yes, so of course. Maria, I'm so upset. 
You don't remember. Okay, Nina. Yes, George, I know. Nina. Turkey, okay. She, uh, he was from Turkey. Uh, do you remember the name of the city, the name of the time, uh, town where he comes from? A one or exactly which city he was from? Uh, uh, he was from Catholic or something. I argue so. There are lots of balloons and the caves. Cappadocia, Cappadocia, Cartola, Yes. This is territory. Okay, we will check. I don't know the answers. Okay, so I told you the difference between BC and AD. Okay. AD is a new after the Christ was born, and BC is before Christ. Before Christ. So Anastasia, number three. In which uh, in which country saint was century? a century was the Saint George saint George born, born. first century AD is it first century AD third 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 century okay yeah. so this is this one shall I put yeah. AD or B yeah. okay. Okay, we will check it. So, question number four. Noah, come on, join us. Okay, now, according to the legend. Killing a dragon. Okay, so in legend, St. George is noted for doing this. So, what is the right answer, Noah? The right answer is killing a dragon. Okay, killing a dragon. Okay, thank you so much. Okay,そのままでもポジティブ。エッチとてたがさコメントつかまけてプシェイツレバ。シェフディ。ラバチョ、オッドサミアプリル、ロメリツブリタネチア、ヒニシネバ、ズスタテクシマイシア、ウブラ
Uh, so we have Hercules, Achilles, Tethos, and Persos. Maybe there is a kind of a god that killed a dragon. Hercules? Hercules. Okay, so I'm choosing Hercules. Okay, thank you. Yes, it's not Hercules. Using, it's not Achilles. Achilles and Achilles. Saint George is a patron okay. of another country in Europe. Which one? Okay, uh, you had the flags and you had also the written names in the presentation. No. But, um, okay. Um, From the given think, country, which no, one? Belgium, Belgium Spain, Belgium. Portugal, no, or Andorra? I think Spain. I, I Spain. think Spain. I think Belgium. You want to think pick Belgium. So which one shall I pick? Spain, Spain. No. Spain, Spain. So you want I'm to still have not sure about that. Not sure. Anastasia, neither you remember. I, I think it's Belgium. Yeah. Or no. Spain. I think Money. Belgium or Spain. Yeah. Okay, most most of you decided it to be Spain. We will check very soon. Number eight, uh, we we'll have Shakespeare. Come on, we have Shakespeare. Really, 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 Who is? Oh, come on, just just try to read it. Ninia, come on, give me the answer. Francis Drake, Winston, <laughs> Charles Dickens, and to have died in April twenty third. Then what? Um, William Shakespeare. Of course, oh, William Shakespeare oh. was born, and can you imagine can he also me? died? He also died the same day. I want to tell you, as Miss Marika already said, Miss Marika said that 23rd oh. April oh. is the same day as May 6th. May 6th is St. George's Day. Okay? So, okay. number nine, uh, so who wanted? Mary Michalazza wanted. Okay. Mm. What colors are on sign your flag? Red and blue, red, white and blue, red and white, blue and white, red, white and blue. Do yes. you all agree? Yes. yes. Okay. And my yes. dear George. Oh, it's red, white and blue, not red, red and blue. White and blue. Red, white and blue. Yes. Red, white and blue. 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 The I question is, the question red is, white. what color Teacher, on St. George flag? Teacher, number nine, you uh, ticked red and white, and you said red, and red white. white, and blue. No, that's British, the old one, red and, red and white, that's the one. Noah, you are brilliant. Noah, explain, really explain the question to them, please, Noah. Um, what color are are on the same? Teacher, and when they were celebrating, the it flag? was red and white. The color of the flag was white. Yes, and Luca. The so British it means flag is now new. The new British flag is about the United Kingdom. I so told yeah. you that the Saint George's flag is the same, almost the same as the George's one with the five crosses. White background and this cross, this line is Saint George's. So there is the combination of three saints that makes the Union Jack, that makes the flag of UK. So I think that Noah and Luca are right. And if we're talking about St. George's flag, it should be red and white. It's not uh, Union Jack. It's not the flag of the UK, where we also have the blue color. And the last question, you probably don't know, uh, George. It's not Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> Absolutely I know no. that. It's Absolutely it's no. Not. Yes, Thank mm -hmm. you. Kyoto? Very Kyoto? logical. I am not so old. So Which I one? Tintoretto. 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 Yeah, okay. Tintoretto. Tintoretto. Do, you want, do you want to see the answers? Yes. 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 Let me check Tintoretto. how the first graders did today. Mm -hmm. Everything. England. 
One is correct. Turkey is correct. Third century AD. Achalit el tavrit with Mesa Mesaukune is correct. Khabelab Asuk Shigak to Motsemuli. His actual birth date is unknown, but he's supposed to have died on April 23rd. Zustitari Yarbox Magnam Navarra Udebia. Killing a dragon, according to the legend, is correct. Christian ma uh, Mercury, uh, of course, Sally, you were writing it, or Christian of his Oh, your answer is Hercule, but Hercule did not call, uh, did not kill dragon. Perso, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They'll be Hercules. Yes, it is Perseus. Uh, the son of Zeus, Zeus Shilma, rescued the princess Andromeda from a sea monster. Ah, I know for Gadarchina. Yes. Yes. So we called you. Yeah. No. 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 None of yes, we did. We said Portugal. Or yeah, Spain. we said Portugal. I said Portugal or, or oh, you Spain. You said Spain. You said Spain or Belgium. Yes, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. the last decision. So why did you make me seek the wrong answer if you were so sure that it is Portugal? Uh, it was like written. So Spain and Portugal are neighboring countries, but. You know, mm. as a patron said, this is for part Portugal. William Shakespeare, of course, you know that for sure. Red and white, Noah de Lucas, well done, because you paid the right attention to the question. So it is about the flag of St. George and not your name, Jack. That was the right answer and right ten. That is the Italian moment of the Mia Te Quizis Ros. Come on, it's quit on Gaget. Quen in the Nat Algaditz, not Leonardo Dummings, the Michelangelo's, the Matnam Chevrolet's, Saint George's Nahat in Conno, the Gagetable outsell, but gets out in a bullet like the other master. Mr. Tertiolas did in a hot egg never. Yeah, it would be, yeah. Because can you imagine this is the 15th and the beginning of the 16th century, and like uh, uh, that was the first because. If St. George was born in the third century and he was firstly mentioned 12th century, like he the only reason is uh, that I didn't say Ghetto because it's a short name, I remember the long one, the longer one, okay, of course. Yes. So when I was doing this quiz, actually, I didn't remember and I had to check the information, and also I didn't remember about the mythology, so the rest, uh, the rest, of course, I, I, I've known. I hope you uh, it helped you somehow just to know what is St. George's Day, how we celebrate St. George's Day, what is the difference and why do we have the dates for the Georgians and for the UK people and also all over the world. Do you have before the time is up, I want to thank you to be very grateful for uh, joining my lesson this time because I wanted to share the information um, as much as possible because nothing makes us better person than the knowledge. The knowledge, not just the fact, but the knowledge as a person. God bless you. Wish you all the best. Bye. Now you know about the flags, about the Union Jack. And this is my flag, actually. So when we renew our lessons, I will bring the flag and just tell you once more. St. George, St. Andrew, and St. Patrick's Union Jack. Now I'm going to flex on my brother, that I know that. Yeah, okay, so, so you know the differences. If no questions, I can say goodbye and wish you good luck and say okay. happy, goodbye. Happy, 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 bye. Bye, bye, bye.